Hey and welcome to Never Into the Argon. So have you been envious of this Celestial Wings mount? Well there'll be a new one upcoming with the campaign on the Wings of Dragons. This campaign will be launching on June the 10th which is a little bit odd since it will be June the 14th that module 22 goes live and you'll only be able to partake in this event in module 23. And this campaign will be limited time, as you can see, up until August the 22nd. To access this, you're just opening your journal here in the campaign section, and we can view it, and you have a certain amount of rewards you can obtain. You really don't have to do much. It only requires you 20 days to unlock the maximum reward, which you can see is going to be a new wings mount. Now we've had two before, which is Celestial Wings and the Butterfly Wings. They don't really count the Butterfly Wings as such. As you can see, these new Dragon Wings look a lot more like Bat Wings for me. I would like to see some scales, but otherwise it has the same kind of power there, Divine Decree, Movement Speed and Power, but the Celestial Wings are the same. And unfortunately it has nothing unique, just Explosive Equalizer. And of course, just your regular insignia slots there, limited though with having to have a barbed. These are called gold dragon wings and that's the top tier reward. They're going to be pretty much exactly the same like I have just here now. The celestial wings might fit a bit better with you guys builds, but we can see it also got some pretty decent rewards here. Looking in the description, you can see on the calendar that all rewards are completely free. So this should be upcoming free as well with even this bottom track. It does look how you'd have with the battle pass being the paid section, but hopefully they're true to their word and it's all free. We'll go and run a dragon hunt a little bit later and we'll see are those rewards free or not. We're getting a coupon here, which is 100% off any companion from the Zen market. I believe you could save it, wait for some other companion, but up to a maximum of 1,500 Zen. So that's only usually the cost of an epic companion. You're getting just 25 companion upgrade tokens, 25 mount upgrade tokens, a rank two enchantment choice pack. I assume there's any there except maybe the combat or companion enhancements. And you're getting a epic insignia choice pack and a Teutonic choice pack. This has got some massive selection there from the Neverwinter Hawk, which is this one here. You would only get with an Echoes of Prophecy for a very good and single target for damage. The Neverwinter Standard Artifact Package. I believe that one just obtained a set with 3% extra combat advantage. Nothing special. The Neverwinter Knight Companion. Very good damage bonus companion and I would highly recommend it for anybody serious on dealing damage to run it in AoE instead of let's say the Batiri or even the Dragon's Bane there. And otherwise the repurposed Phylactery Artifact Pack which was limited only to the Zen market and pretty good for healers but yet again only 3% power. And with the new TM map set getting a buff, yeah that's out the window a little bit. A Guard Drake, not sure why that's there. And a Legendary Insignia Choice Pack. I guess those options are in there just in case you have already got every other thing there. Like for me, I could sure take the phylactery set or I guess just the legendary insignia. Ultimately, if you get 20 of these, you get a title, the gilded and these golden dragon wings account wide. Wonderful. Now, how are you going to be progressing along this? Well, they simply say as with the current battle pass, you're going to be completing dragon hunts to obtain progression, as you can see there. Same system with the three dots where you can save them up, like you have here with chromatic scales, and then you'll use those to then progress. And we'll just run a quick dragon hunt here, we'll hop into a young one and see if it actually contributes to the progress. We should be able to pick up the first two rewards, and especially if you don't have to pay anything, we should be able to get the coupon. We get a young blue dragon, you can see that there, hop into his lair and enter in. Again, module 23 only coming on June the 14th, which is actually less than a week away. Not paying attention, but that phases the dragon. We can progress onwards. We go to kill the air archons and we face the dragon once more. You ideally want to be doing these dragon hunts as the ancient ones and then with a full group. They're going to hurt like heck those ancient ones if you do not have a tank. There will be one shotting you every now and again. And otherwise, of course, you can always be killing these dragons to make your way, your progress towards your mythic gear, which is wonderful. And again, just those ancient dragons with the right modifiers will help you out a lot. 
but otherwise you do got to kill a hundred of them to get your dragon rank up with dragon slayer not the young ones they don't actually count but we can get this young one killed and hopefully it does progress towards this campaign and that way it'll be a lot more accessible to newer players but again keep in mind all limited time like with the celestial wings you were only able to get them during the Redeem Citadel campaign. If you really want these, make sure you at least put that 20 day grind in. So there we go, he should be bleeding out. And that defeats our dragon, which gives us our Dragon Slayer mark, which having a look at the campaign on the Wings of Dragons allows us indeed to claim our rewards. So that's very simple how it's going to work. Every day you can get a dragon mark, you can save them up up to a maximum of three days if you miss a day, which is awesome. And then you just defeat your dragon and you get your marks, completing 20 of those hunts over 20 days to get your title and your new legendary mount gold dragon wings so hopefully this was somewhat insightful to you guys again this will be launching very soon within the next few days and on tuesday we'll be getting module 23 pretty exciting finally i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going and if i present this well consider leaving the video a like if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now